Welcome to section 7.6. All right, gentle people, we're going to continue our discussion on the equilibrium of water and pH and pOH. So again, here's the autoionization of water. It's an equilibrium. We know the equilibrium constant for this equation is 1 times 10 to the negative 14th at 25 degrees. And that comes from taking the concentration of H plus times the concentration of OH minus. Now, just to remind you, the concentration of H plus was 1 times 10 to the negative 7th. And the same can be said for OH minus. So what would happen if we took the pH plus the pOH? If we take the negative log of 1 times 10 to the negative 7th, we get a pH of 7. We can do the same for the OH concentration, and we would get a pOH of 7 as well. So pH plus pOH, well, 7 plus 7 would get us 14. With this in mind, I can see how a base affects the pH when I put it into water. So what would be the pH if I had 0.1 molar of NaOH? Well, NaOH is considered a strong base, so it breaks up 100%. So that means I'm going to use a hard arrow, I'm going to do stoichiometry, and what I will get is the OH minus concentration is 0.1. So let's go ahead and take the negative log of that. And if I take the negative log of that, I get my pOH being 1. But remember, in water, if I want to figure out the pH, I know that the pH plus the pOH equals 14. So what that means here is that the pH is going to equal 14 minus the pOH. And so if I go ahead and put 1 in for my pOH, I get a pH of 13. And we'll talk about this later. Anything that has a pH greater than 7 is going to be considered a basic solution. But the importance here is you guys can use this equation to figure out pH and pOH. And again, I want to remind you that we are doing all of this in water. And that autoionization is going to have a KW associated with it. And so I can start with this equation and manipulate it around. What I can say is that KW equals H plus concentration times OH minus concentration. I can divide both sides by H plus concentration, and I get this expression right here. That the OH concentration is going to be KW divided by H plus. And at 25 degrees, Kw is a constant, 1 times 10 to the negative 14. So if I know my H plus concentration, I can figure out my OH minus concentration. And I can work it backwards. If I know my OH minus concentration, I know my H plus concentration. With this said, what I want you guys to do is imagine I have a solution at pH 11.6. Go ahead and calculate the H plus concentration for me, the OH minus concentration for me, and to help you out, you might want to go ahead and figure out the pOH. Now, to help you out, what you guys can do is use the summary at the end of this lecture. So take a look at this slide and see how it can help you solve that problem that I just asked. When you're done, mark the right answer. All right, gentle people, what I want to show you is that if you have any one of these four corners, you can go ahead and figure out the other three corners. So in the last problem I gave you, I gave you what the pH was. So what we can do is we can figure out the other three corners. On the arrows, you will see the relationship. So let's go ahead and tackle the first thing I asked you to figure out. And that was, what's the H plus concentration if I have a pH of 11.6? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use this equation right here. So the pH equals negative log of our H plus concentration. We'll go ahead and put our pH in. And now what we have to do is solve for H plus. Now what we're going to say is that our H plus concentration 
is going to be negative 11.6, and I'm going to take the anti-log of this. And what that means is you're going to take 10 and raise it to negative 11.6. Now you might have an anti-log function on your calculator. It is best to test this out. What you should get is something that's 2.51 times 10 to the negative 12. All right, gentle people, that gets us our H plus concentration. From there, what we could do is we can go ahead and get our OH minus concentration. And to do that, we're going to use this relationship. So Kw equals the H plus concentration times our OH minus concentration. Or in other words, my OH minus concentration equals Kw over our H plus concentration. We know that Kw is 1 times 10 to the negative 14th. And our H plus concentration is something that we just figured out, 2.51 times 10 to the negative 12. What this gets us is a value of 0 0.040 molar. Now we could have gone another route. What we could have done is we could have gone and figured out the POH. So again, I'm gonna start from here at 11.6 and using this relationship, I'm going to figure out what my POH is going to be. So pH plus pOH equals 14, or in other words, pOH equals 14 minus my pH. So 14 minus 11.6 gets us a value of 2.4. Now that I have my pOH, I can use this relationship to get to OH minus concentration. So pOH equals the negative log of my OH minus concentration. And so what I can say is that 2.4 equals the negative log of my OH minus concentration. And like I showed you before, you can take the anti-log of negative 2.4 and what you guys will get is 0 0.0040. And you'll notice that that is the same number we came up with before. So again, ladies and gentlemen, if I give you any one of these four corners, you can determine the other three. Well, I hope that made sense, Chem 1B, and remember to stay safe.